It's beautiful out here. Is yeah. Alaska. <laughs> ah, an exquisite outdoor setting. For an Alaskan activity. Go ahead, bud. Don't be too nervous. Exhale out. He's never fired an AR-15. That was still to the bottom. <laughs> This is Kelly Conway's first visit to the brand new Knick River Public Use Area shooting range. This is my son's first time shooting our 22, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Ten-year-old Wyatt is still getting comfortable. I told him to aim for the eye, and he's all around the eye. <laughs> he never hits the eye. It's all about the safety and having a safe place to shoot. We're not just going to go out where there's people hunting or people you know, just joy riding in their cars. That always terrifies me. The shooting range is located in the public use area east of Palma. There's a huge amount of public interest and involvement. And it's land manager Travis Jensen's latest project. We broke ground last year, and this year we were able to put in the, the final pieces of it, the 25 yard, the paving, uh, expand the 100 yard, and so now we have a wonderful facility. Out of the area's entire 260,000 acres, right between Mud Lake and Jim Lake, the shooting range occupies only a fraction of the land. But lately, its administration has consumed a majority of Jensen's time. Responsibilities of people. In his Department of Natural Resources office in downtown Anchorage, he's just finishing up a 34-page manual. And we'll have a, a frequently asked questions section. Which so. contains range rules for DNR officials and shooters alike. Rules out here are important. The area beyond the end of Mod Road has seen its fair share of bad behavior. You know, people going out and deciding to shoot it up and burn it. Back before the state protected the land in 2006. This whole lower area was well known as a dropping off point for abandoned vehicles and uh, you know trash and whatnot, as well as Party Central. So in 2009, DNR cleaned it up and last year started construction on the $950,000 range intended to centralize gun activity for safety and to minimize the widespread lead contamination that was happening all over the area. And they did real well with the fitting this place into the environment around here. The porta potty guy comes on Wednesdays. It's definitely not an eyesore. And so does DNR for its weekly maintenance. Other than those visits, the state doesn't maintain a consistent presence, so users need to step up. That's why we ask them to, you know, pack in what they pack out, police their brass, pick up their trash. You know, it's your land. No, I think it'd be all right, as long as people clean up after themselves. You gotta hold the clip this way. The shooting range is DNR's latest effort to keep the Knick River public use area beautiful and safe. It's nice to be able to come someplace to be able to teach our children how to shoot, the appropriate ways to handle a gun. A place for Alaskans to come and practice their passions. Quite honestly, it's kind of good for the soul a little bit. 